Hey, you playa, do you spend hours upon hours every single day watching different girls stream online? Are you constantly checking out their social media pages, hoping and waiting for them to post the new half naked pic? Are you donating real money just to get an inkling of attention from them? If so, you may be obsessed and I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to do to break your obsession. The first sign that you might be obsessed is constant preoccupation. Do you find yourself constantly thinking or talking about the streamer to everyone else around you? Or does following their live streams, watching their videos, or checking out their social media profiles lead you to neglect a lot of your daily activities? The second sign of obsession is emotional dependency, meaning your state of being and how you feel is tied to whether or not they acknowledge you. So if you donate to them and they respond back positively, you feel great. But if you send them money and they don't acknowledge it at all, you feel horrible. You feel neglected, you feel unloved. There's a bit of a blur between fantasy and reality happening there, where your self-worth and happiness is dictated by the amount of validation and attention that they're giving you. And the third sign that you might be obsessed is that you're neglecting other relationships in your life. Maybe you're distancing yourself from your friends because you just don't connect with them as much. Instead, you feel so much more seen and heard being in the community of their live streams, talking with other fans and interacting with that content creator. Perhaps you find yourself constantly pulling away from different social activities just so you can sit by yourself alone in the dark in your computer chair watching this streamer 24 seven. If through any or all of those points you sat there thinking, bruh, that's me, I'm obsessed with this streamer, I'm gonna walk you through how to fix it. I don't want you to think it's inherently wrong to donate to a streamer, to send them a tip, to buy them something off their Amazon wish list, or even to pay for their OnlyFans. There's nothing wrong with supporting creators that you like online, but you have to find a good and healthy balance for yourself. The question I always tell people to ask themselves is, what do I hope to gain by supporting this creator? Do I just wanna donate a few dollars to put a smile on their face? Am I helping them work towards a bigger lofty project that they have? Do I wanna just support their art because I feel like it deserves some type of compensation? Or am I doing this so they can pay attention to me, so they can acknowledge me, so I can feel like there's someone on the internet that knows I exist? If you feel like interacting with the streamer is like talking to your best friend, or you feel like talking to this girl streamer is the only attention you've ever gotten from a woman, you might be developing a parasocial relationship, which is usually one-sided. Keep in mind, these streamers talk to lots and lots of different people. They have millions and millions of fans interacting with them, sending them DMs, trying to get their attention. So I know it's hard to hear, but you're not alone in this process. I think it's pretty understandable if you're the type of guy that struggles in social situations and you don't really have a lot of different girls that you talk to or interact with. So you find this beautiful streamer online, you join her community, start talking in her chat, maybe even become a mod to the point where you are seen as someone in her eyes. She acknowledges you as this awesome guy that's helpful to her, but you have to recognize one little detail. You're not actually interested in her, you're just attracted to her. Real interest is a mutual thing. It goes well beyond just interacting with the person online. So if you're in a parasocial relationship, what I would recommend to you is to prioritize the in-person relationships that you have. That might mean putting yourself in more social situations, joining different groups or clubs or activities. You can be around different people to work on those skills. By doing that, you allow yourself to form much deeper grounds with people that's based on a one-to-one -one connection, not a one to a streamer who's talking to a million other people at the same time. And if you feel like no matter what, you keep getting pulled back in, you need to cut them off. Stop following their profiles. Stop watching them stream. Stop donating money to them. Take your time to really prioritize your own health and well being and your own interpersonal connections with people actually there in your life. And another thing I need to throw in there stay away from sending them super long, cringy DMs confessing and admitting your love for them. I know it feels good to send that, but chances are when they read it because they don't actually know you, it's going to weird them out. Now I speak from experience on that. Back in my college days, I was a pretty avid 4chan user. Now there was a girl who would post on there that everyone called Rabbit Chan that became kind of an e-girl celebrity for that small community and I became obsessed with her. I thought she was super funny and cute and just overall perfect. So I sent her an email asking her to be ePals, thinking if I could just get closer to her and be her friend, then I'll feel seen as a person. I'm gonna show the email on the screen now because it's super cringe. I actually sent this to her and I can only imagine her reading it and thinking, 
man, this guy is pretty weird. In fact, I even called that out in the email about myself because I thought if I mentioned that I'm weird, if I put that out there, then it's actually gonna kind of dull the effect in her mind. Overall, there's nothing inherently wrong with expressing gratitude towards a creator that you like, but if you start to veer into the territory that I did where you only reach out to them for the sole purpose of actually feeling seen as a person, that's when you know you have a problem. That's when you're obsessed. So take the steps that I mentioned before, work on building your in-person connections with other people and step outside of the bubble that you live in following this creator. And if you're not just obsessed with e-girls and online streamers, but you might find yourself obsessed with lots of different celebrities as well, click the video on the screen now to watch my tips on how to break out of that obsession as well. It's very easy to fall in love with people that get lots of media attention, but I'm here to help you work through it. Check out that video and I'll catch you next time. As always, love and peace.